everyone, my name is Thomas. Welcome back to All About Machine. Oh, oh no, welcome back all to All About Machines channel. Sort of thing. On in the next episode of All About Machines. That's what the big uh, YouTuber is doing, I guess. Big summer job, and we're building and what? Well, not build, well building. Yeah, we're not done here. But it was really narrow, really narrow dam, and it wasn't really a bank. It was just a cliff. I don't know if you can see it further down there. It's just a cliff. It's no nice bank, really. So what we're gonna do here is make this dam a bit wider, safer, and most importantly, functional. So it holds the water back because the, the original uh, dam here has actually had some lakes in it. Uh, anyway, so we're cracking on with uh, struggling to find good material around here. Are we getting there? Uh, slowly but surely. So the boys are digging some clay up and bringing it here. And uh, that, that would be a nice dozer job, but unfortunately, our dozer developed a little issue, so it's being repaired at the moment. The show must go on, so uh, I'm doing it with the digger. It's gonna be a 3 to 1 ratio bank. So it's mean if it's 3 meter high, the bottom of it gotta be 9 meter out, sort of thing. So I got a nice solid base, as you can see. I pushed it out there, tracked it in several times, put it in thin layers, so that's solid enough now. Start building on it and come up. As you do always, I overfill it a little bit, track it in, and then cut the slope out afterwards. So I'm just carry on with that, nice and steady. Um, and uh, reason number two for this dam, so we can get the dumpers around here, and we can dredge the remaining of the pond, which is this side, just too much to move drag oil all of it this side it's easier to get the dumpers around this side and take it from there so that's another reason we gotta do what we gotta do there is a way to get there but it's, it's a bit of a road and um, you have to go through a farm yard and obviously you want to keep that tidy you don't want any seals from the tires uh, dumpers and stuff like that so in there so uh, and it's gonna be done anyway, so we're just going this way. You can see we overfilled it here and it's been compacted very well by the dumpers as well. Um, at the end, at the really end, we just cut the side and shape it up to 3 to 1. That's it, on a thin layer like that. And that's why you, how you want to do it really. You don't want to just fill the hole out with the dampers and then, you know, track in and tidy up. That's not going to work. Find up confection and uh, overfill it up. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. What everyone did, what we're supposed to do, is put it in thin layers like that. There's about four, six inches there. Thin layer, and then you track it in. Track it in over and over again because it's not just a weight of the machine, you know. Once I go over it, it looks good, it's already looked good. But I just go over and over again while I got the time because the vibration the machine makes compacts the whole lot much better. Oh yeah. 
here I go this way or that way in the water without getting the gear wet because once you put it in the water and try to uh, shape it from there well, with a really really good solid lumpy clay you can do that right that's a bit clumsy here so you don't want to do that what I do I'll show you exactly so when they brought the material in you might say it's a bit of a abusing the digger and you're probably right but at the same time yeah you can't risk I know there's something in there I can't risk the dam to be weak and slick so all I do, I don't put it actually in the water and build it out I put it into here and I push it, push it out and leave that material there so it's dry and this way it's only that material on the front wet and nothing else should get wet really and then just carry on pushing it out like that put some on it I don't know, in our gear here, then I will bring some more in. And then you push it out. Push it out. So on the front, it's the same material all the time. So the new stuff you're putting in, it doesn't get wet. And you can compact it well. That's it.